Hello, ladies and gentlemen, this is Spider, and happy five-year anniversary, everybody! Yep, that's right, this channel's been around for five years now. Can you believe it? Yeah, me either. Uh, yeah, I really couldn't believe it when I looked back on my first video and saw that it was coming up on five years. It is an eye-opening experience that I've been, been on here. Uh, for half a decade now. That is so, so crazy to think about. And I thought it would be, you know, a cool time to, to talk about the channel. You know? Uh, because I haven't really done anything for any of the other years that I've been on this channel. Like the first year, the second, third, or fourth. So I thought, you know, the fifth year... You know, now that I remembered, because I kind of, like, all the other years just kind of passed by, I'm like, oh, yeah, that happened. So I thought, you know, the anniversary of this year, I should probably make a video talking about it. So that's what I'm going to do. So, yeah, in this video, we're going to talk about, you know, the channel, what's happened, where it's going, and so on and so forth. But before I do any of that, I wanted to thank you. That's right, you. You guys. The people who, you know, like, comment, subscribe, you know, all that stuff. Um, I wanted to thank you for doing all that and for sticking with me. Uh, and to show my appreciation, I thought that I would go through my subscriber list and thank you all one by one. Because, huh? why not? Uh, now, before I do that, I do want to mention two things. Uh, one, I am really bad at pronouncing names. So if I mispronounce your name, I apologize ahead of time. Uh, I'm probably going to mispronounce at least a few of these names. I guarantee it. Because I'm just I'm not good at it. And second of all... Um, there are some of you that I can't thank personally because I can't see your name. Yeah, I can only see the name of the people who subscribe publicly. So if your subscriptions are private, uh, I can't see your name. I can see that my subscriber number has gone up, but there's no name to go along with the number. So, yeah. So, unfortunately, if your subscribers' subscriptions are privated, then I can't see you, and therefore I cannot thank you personally. Wish you could, but I can't. But, with all that out of the way, let us get to the thanking. So, to start things off, we have my very first subscriber, Matt Man Bear. Thank you for subscribing. We have Ed's Guitar. Thank you for subscribing. Medium Sized Man. Thank you for subscribing. Lucamus Prime. Thank you for subscribing. Christina. Thank you for subscribing. Troglomorph Try Stop Motion 1. Thank you for subscribing. Flim227. Thank you for subscribing. Kylie Learn and Play. Thank you for subscribing. Julius Maximus. Thank you for subscribing. Brick Motion Studios, thank you for subscribing. Uh, Thendon Aura, Epsi. We're already getting to the names that I'm gonna, I'm gonna mess up. So Thendon Aura, I think that's how you say that. Thank you for subscribing. Abba Dabba. Not kidding, that's actually their name. Abba Dabba, thank you for subscribing. Tulala. Thank you for subscribing. And, okay, I think this one's Russian, so... I, I don't know. I'm going to try. Uh, Tar, I think, is how you say that? Maybe? Probably not, but... Thank you for subscribing. Darren Hayward. Thank you for subscribing. Sassy Witch. Thank you for subscribing. Juliana Neme. Thank you for subscribing. 
Dino Chris. There's an easy one. Thank you for subscribing. Jonathan's Jornipet, Jornipret Creatures. Thank you for subscribing. And apologies for the mispronunciation, because I'm sure I messed it up. Diego Serrano. Thank you for subscribing. Miso Plays. Thank you for subscribing. And Macaulay Smart. Thank you for subscribing. And thank you to the rest of you who I cannot see who have subscribed, because I know there's a lot more of you than just the 20 or so names I just mentioned. So, yeah. And even to the people who don't subscribe and just watch the videos, I thank you as well. Because, well, it's just nice to look at a video and see, hey, a bunch of people watch this, you know? So, thank you all. And, uh, uh, I especially think the ones who have stuck around for so long, because some of these people who subscribed have been here before I even had a real channel. Like, Matman Bear, who was my very first subscriber. I didn't have a video when they subscribed. I had nothing. I think I had a profile picture and a name, and then that was it. So, thank you for subscribing at that time. Uh, felt very weird that you did, but I'm very appreciative that you did. And uh, you know, I, always, I always remember, I always remembered their name. Because I think, you know, every channel remembers their very first subscriber, you know? Because it's always like, like, a special feeling like, ooh, I finally have, you know, one at least. And I remember the story of, or how it went about, of how they joined, or joined, how they subscribed. And you know what? I'm going to tell that story. Because, well, I can't think of anywhere else to tell it, but I do want to tell it, so... Here we go. Okay, so it was quite a bit ago, because like I said, it was before I even really had a real channel. And uh, I was in a live stream. I was watching a live stream here on YouTube. Uh, the person I was watching has since changed their name, but back then they were known as James Universe, if any of you remember him. Uh... So I was watching, uh, I remember they were, they were opening up some Lego Star Wars, uh, buildable figures. Uh, this should give you an idea on how old or how long ago that was, because I don't think Lego has made a buildable figure in, well, it's been a little bit, <laughs> but they, he was opening up, uh, Chewbacca, I remember he was opening up him and he was building that figure and... I hadn't said many things in the chat of the live stream. I just, I just said like a few uh, things, just commented a few times. But apparently it was enough for Matman Bear to think, oh, this guy is cool. I'm going to subscribe to him. <laughs> uh, and like I said, I'm very appreciative that they did that. Yeah, it was. Uh, it was another thing to kind of motivate me to finally make the channel because I've, wa I've wanted to make a channel for a long time but uh didn't until well five years ago obviously and uh that very first video that i made was uh all the way back on august 16th of 2019 which, like I said, it doesn't feel like it's been five years ago, but then you do the math, and you're like, oh yeah, that was five years ago. <laughs> it feels like closer to three than five, but... Yeah, it was, it was, it's, it's been a while. And I know I keep saying, like, oh, it's been a while, but like in the grand scheme of things, it's not really that long, considering there are some people who have been on YouTube so long that their channels, if they were a person, could get a driver's permit and drive a car <laughs> so really my channel isn't 
that old at all, but still, you know, feels old. Yeah, that first video that I uploaded, which was aptly named First. Yep, that's right. I named my first video First. How original. <laughs> Uh, but it's not just called first because it's my first uh, video that I uploaded. Uh, it's called first because it's also the very first stop motion that I ever made. Because um, uh, I've been interested in stop motion for a very, very long time. Uh, and that's thanks to my dad, because he was interested in stop motion growing up, because, you know, he grew up watching all the classic stop motion movies, and then he showed them to me when I was growing up, and then we both, you know, shared that that passion for that art style, and just how cool it was, you know, watching those, you know, classic Ray Harryhausen movies, and the Wallace and Gromits, and, you know, stuff like, you know, like King Kong, you know, stuff like that, it's just... I just, I don't know, it was always so cool and fun. And because me and my dad both, you know, really were into stop motion, uh, he came up with the idea for us to try and find a stop motion kit. You know, something, you know, so it could be something for us to do together, you know, father-son bonding and all that. So, so my dad and my mom looked on the internet and tried to find one, and eventually they did. And they got a little kit, uh, which was called Hue, Hue something, like Hue.org or whatever. Uh, it was this little kit. It came with uh, a camera and a program, and you would download the program on a computer and hook up the laptop to the camera. Now, when I say camera, you think of like a, just a traditional camera, you know, something you hold in your hands or you put on a stand, you know, push the button, you know, you know camera right wrong this thing was very bizarre looking um for starters the camera itself was like the the in the shape of like a teardrop or something and then the lens was on the front of it and then that was connected to the neck and the neck was made out of a uh, have you ever seen like a desk lamp and it has like an adjustable neck that but a little smaller and then you plug that into a little base, and then the base had a wire, and you plug that into the laptop, and that was the whole setup. So you could control the camera from the laptop. And, um, yeah, it was quite a bizarre design. Um, I'll try to find some pictures on the internet and show you if I can. But, yeah, and it was a cool thing. So, uh... My parents got that all set up, and that very night, me and my dad, you know, just did a little test run, just made a quick little thing, and that was first. Uh, or at least the first half of it. Obviously, you can tell it's, like, kind of split into two halves. Like, one is filmed in one location, and one is filmed in a very clearly different location. Uh, that, I believe, was filmed the very next day, or something like that. But anyways... Yes, yeah, so me and my dad worked on that together, and it was it was fun. Those were good times. Uh, also, quite a while ago, like that video may have been uploaded to my channel only five years ago, but it was made like ten years ago. <laughs> like that was back in like late 2013, early 2014. So it was quite a long time ago. <laughs> Um, yeah, so we made that. We made a few other videos, too. But that was the first one we made. And I knew that whenever I made a YouTube channel, because I was very determined to do that, uh, whenever I did it, I knew that that had to be my very first video. And it was. But uh, it almost wasn't, because uh, the laptop that we had uh it was already kind of old when we like put the program on there and just as time went down w went down as time went on 
the laptop just kind of broke down more and more to the point some days it wouldn't even turn on. So, yeah, uh, so we almost lost uh, those videos that me and my dad had made. But thankfully, I was able to get the laptop to turn on and download them all into a thumb drive. I was able to save them. Uh, and I think I think we might still have that laptop, but if we try to turn on nowadays, it might just explode. <laughs> it's very old. Uh, anyways. Yeah, so that's, that's the origins of my very first video. And that's pretty much what the rest of this video is going to be. Just me talking about the history of this channel. Like all the things that happened with it. Well, not all of the things, but, you know, a lot of the stuff that, that happened. Uh, some of the stories behind some of the things I do. So, yeah, if, that, if that doesn't sound interesting, you free feel free to click off and do something else. But, for any of you who are still interested, give this a listen. Give, give it a little listen, just, just a little here and here. And I, I don't know what I'm talking about. Sometimes I just say things because I can't think of the next sentence to say, so I just blurt out random words. Uh, anyways. So yeah, I uploaded first video. But, um... Obviously, like I said, the laptop broke down, so I didn't really have any kind of way to make any other videos. Even if I did, I didn't know how to upload them to YouTube. That was one of the main reasons why... It took so long for me to make a channel. It's because I just didn't know how. Uh, and I especially didn't know how easy it was. Especially with today's technology. Like you can pretty much run a whole YouTube channel. On your phone. Which is exactly what I do. But I didn't know you could do that. Like if I had all the knowledge. That I do now. I probably could have started a channel. Like back in 2017. Which granted isn't that much earlier than when I did start it, but, you know, would have been a little earlier, give me a little bit of a head start, but, meh, that's just hypothetical scenarios, but, uh, what was I talking about, <laughs> what was the point of me bringing this up, uh, ah, crap, I can't remember, uh, oh yeah, the laptop died, so I couldn't make any videos. I didn't know how. But then, uh, I finally, because I, I finally discovered something, because I wanted my channel to be mainly stop motion at the time. Um, and I found, uh, I didn't find, uh, my dad found, at least I think, was it my dad? It's either my dad or my uncle, but they found an app you can download onto your phone called the stop, the stop motion studio app. Which is the app that I use to this day. Because it's, it's pretty cool. I mean, it's still kind of simple in some ways. But it's, you know, when you're still just kind of figuring things out and starting out. It, it's pretty dang cool. But anywho. So, yeah, so I got that. I got that app downloaded on my phone. And then I filmed uh, Bee's Transformation. Which is the second video on this channel, I believe. And... I probably should have checked when that was uploaded. That would have been smart to do. But oh well. Uh, I'm pretty sure it was just a week after. Uh, first. I'm pretty sure. Because, uh, you know, back then I was trying to do weekly stop motion videos. You know, every Friday. Uh, which I quickly realized was not a good idea. Because stop motions take quite some time to make. Especially if you want to make like a good one. So, yeah, I realized that that wasn't going to work. And that's when I introduced tour reviews. I started doing those because that was also another thing that I wanted to do. Uh, I just wasn't planning on doing it that soon. Uh, but I did. So it gave me more time to work on the videos and, and all that. And I've explained this before in other videos. Uh, I believe in the first update of the channel, I think. Is when I like first talked about all this, or something like that. Oh no, I'll, I'll, I talked about it in the original review. Whatever. I can't remember things. Where do you think I am? A person that remembers stuff? 
I don't know. <laughs> you can tell I have a, a great sense of humor. <laughs> oh boy. Anyway, so so I started doing uh, tour reviews, but I didn't review a lot of big things back then. A lot of the stuff I talked about was just kind of like smaller little figurines and stuff. Um, and the main reason I did that is because even though I watched like a bunch of rev tour review channels at the time and I had an idea on how to make a tour review, I knew I didn't really know how to do it, you know? So I decided to do a bunch of smaller stuff first until I felt like I really was confident in my ability to make a good review. Um, yeah, which, uh, my dad would always get on me about that. He'd be like, well, why are you always reviewing this, this, this small crap, you know? Review something bigger, you know? And I'm like, I'm doing that because I want to get better at it, you know? And, uh, I wouldn't want to review a figure that I think is really cool if I'm not, you know, experienced because then that review might turn out to be crap. And it's like, well, dang it. You know, that that toy is cool, but the review I did of it, it sucks. You know, I didn't want that to happen. So that's why I took so, so long before I started reviewing, like, actually good figures of my collection, you know? So, yeah, that's why that happened. That's why I, uh, instead of review, uh, you know, instead of reviewing the whole set, because my first... Reviews were of the Pack of Destruction uh, Bandai Creation minifigure Godzillas. And uh, instead of reviewing the whole set in one go, which is what I would do nowadays, uh, I reviewed each figure on its own. Uh, you know, to give, me, give myself more time. And to also try and, you know, get rid of the camera shyness. Because that is definitely a thing that I had. And I still have a little bit of it now, but it's uh, much, much uh, smaller than it was back then. Like, back then it was like, oh no, I'm going to mess up, I'm going to mess up. But nowadays it's just like a tiny itty bitty voice in the back of my head that's like, you're stupid, no one's going to like this. I'm like, shut up voice, I'll do what I want. <laughs> but anyways. But it took a while for me to get there, and... That's what I've heard from other people. Like, uh, other channels that I watch, they say it took them, like, at least, like, two years before they got, like, really comfortable, like, uh, being on camera. And, yeah, that, that checks out. It was around year two that I finally got comfortable with doing what I was doing. And I've just gotten better and more confident ever since then. Yeah. And it's been fun. It's had some ups and downs, though, definitely. Uh, especially when I would, like, go on hiatus for, like, four to six months at a time. Which is ridiculous. Uh, especially since I had no good reason to not make videos, you know? It was just, I didn't want to make them. You know, it's not like I was, like, going through a rough time or I was sad. It's like, no, nah, I was just too lazy to make a video. Um, I have a lot of problems with that, uh, with procrastinating and just not wanting to do things. But it's weird because, like, I want to do it, but I don't have... Like, I have the wanting to do it, but not the wanting to get up and do it. You know what I'm saying? See, I got a lot. I got a big problem with that. Uh, yeah. Big problem with that. Big problem. Big problem. See, there it is again. There's me just saying random stuff so I can think of the next sentence. <laughs> I got a real problem with that. Uh, so I need to like script things out more often. Or like just write down notes, which I did have. I do have some notes here with me. But uh, I didn't write down very many things. Anyways. Um, 
So I guess we'll just jump right back in the history of things. I'm jumping all over the place. Sorry, I'll, this is a mess, but eh. it's the best I got at the moment. Yeah, so I made a, I made more videos, did some reviews, and I got better at them. Something that I was trying to do was also try and find uh, my own style of doing things. Like, not that my way is, like, super original or whatever, but it is, like, my way of doing things. Like, I wasn't, like, copying anyone else. Because uh, that was something that my dad would always say, like, he would always tell me, like, when if you're going to make your own channel, you know, don't copy anyone else, you know. Do your own thing. And uh, I try to do that. Like, uh... I try to do little things that kind of make my channel me. Like, uh, back in the day when I didn't have, like, when I was reviewing something and I didn't have the packaging, I would just bring out a spray bottle and just spray it and then just toss it aside. <laughs> like, you don't see too many other people doing that. Um, so I thought, like, that was something that would, that would uh, make my channel stand out a little more than others. Um, but unfortunately the spray bottle era is over because that bottle ran out of water. <laughs> and I would tell, I always told myself like whenever the bottle runs out of water, that's when that gag is over and I'll switch over to something else. And, and I have now I switched over to a garbage can, a little mini garbage can I have. And that's the new box replacement. I don't know. They're, they're both just random things. Just like, wait, what? Why is that? Huh? <laughs> The both things that just make you question what you're even seeing. So, yeah. Another thing that I did was uh, the measuring tape. You may notice that I have a measuring tape in the corner of all of my reviews and the thumbnails of those reviews. Um, and that's because that was the original uh, measuring tape that I used to measure things. But, unfortunately, it broke. Yeah, that measuring tape had uh, been through quite a bit. <laughs> uh, it even uh, it got shocked at one point, because you may have noticed, like, if you go back and watch one of my older reviews, uh, you may notice that well, the measuring tape has, like, two black marks on it. And that's because I somehow, I was, like, fiddling with the measuring tape, and, like, I would, like, I always messed with a measuring tape, when I was younger, I would always mess with measuring tapes, and I would just, like, extend them and just have this real long thing, and I would just flop it about. Well, I was sitting on the couch one time, and there's an outlet behind the couch, and somehow that tape lined up with the outlet, and it, like, shocked it. It even caused, like, the, the, like, the circuit breaker to, like, to turn off. Or something like that. I don't know the proper terminology because I'm an idiot. Um, but yeah, it, it the measuring tape got shocked. And so it just had two burn marks on it. Uh, I couldn't I couldn't recreate that again in a million years. Like even my dad was just like, How the heck did you do that? Uh, so that's why there was two burn marks on it, so yeah, and then the tip of it started to break off, which surprisingly was completely unrelated to the burn marks. So yeah, that measuring tape had uh, been through quite a bit. But unfortunately, it finally broke. Uh, the metal bit broke off, and so the tape just kind of went inside, and so I can't use it anymore. But at that point, I had used it for quite a few years, so I didn't want to just like get rid of it or throw it away. But I didn't know what to do with it until, you know, I did the review, and I mentioned like, hey, I broke it. And so I just kind of set it in the corner and be like, it'll be a background decoration. And at the time I did it as a joke, but then I realized, hey, that could be something that could be something that could make me stand out a little more. It's like I'm the guy with the measuring tape in the corner of all his videos, you know, because there are some people where, you know, you look at their their like their thumbnails and you can just be like, ah, that was made by so and so or what's their face. And so I thought, like, if I put the little measuring tape in the corner of all my videos, like, that could be 
a way for people to be like, ah, that's Spider's video, you know? I don't know, it's probably really silly and dumb, but I, I thought it was neat. Especially since it's something that's, you know, part of the history of the channel. It's not just some random thing. I mean, it is, but it isn't. You know, it was a thing that I used on the channel for many years, then it broke. So I'm like, eh, background decoration now. So yeah. So if you ever watch some of my more modern reviews, and I go to measure a figure, and you're like, why didn't you grab the one in the background? <laughs> and why are you using a different one? Uh, that's why. Because the one in the background is broken, and the new one isn't. But I didn't want to get rid of the old one. Because I used it for so long, I'm like, nah, this is this is personal now. It's part of the channel's history. So, yeah. I've been rambling off quite a bit, haven't I? Yes, I have. But uh, yeah. So that's that was the the background behind the measuring tape. If you ever wanted to know that story. Which, I mean, I did actually explain it already in, like, or partially explain it at least in the, what review was that? I think it was the Obi-Wan review, the Heroes and Villains Collection Obi-Wan, that figure. Uh, I think that was the first video I talked about the measuring tape being broken. Yeah, because I'm pretty sure, like, every video since then you can see has the measuring tape in the corner. Yeah. I don't know. Like I said, I just thought it would be something neat. Make me be a little, little different. Just a, just a smidge, just a little bit. Anyways. Um. Yeah. So. I guess that's all for, like, the history of the videos. Like, any stories... I want to tell as for the current state of this channel like where it's at uh well first of all we're past 100 subscribers so that's pretty cool you know um i mean i do kind of have conflicting feelings about it because part of me is like i've been doing this for five years and i only have a hundred but another part of me looks at it as my video, my channel is finally getting traction, you know, like, like back a few years ago, like my videos would get like 30 views each. And if one got like 100 views, that was like an outlier. But nowadays, my videos get like 100 plus views. And if one doesn't get 100 views, that's the outlier. So that feels pretty nice. You know, that's pretty, that's pretty cool. So yeah, I'm finally, uh, yeah, I'm finally feeling like people are seeing my channel more. Cause I was like stuck at a number, like I was at like 60 subscribers for like a really, really long time. But now it feels like I'm kind of steadily growing and growing. Like it feels like it hasn't slowed down much at all. Uh, which I've heard that that's kind of the case. Like, I've heard that, like, the first 100 subscribers is, like, the hardest part. There's, like, the hardest hill to overcome. Which, it seems like it, because once I've, like, gotten to close to that number, it feels like things are just... Like, every week I feel like I get, like, at least two new subscribers, and it just keeps growing. So it's it's pretty cool. But like I said, a, a part of me is kind of disappointed that it's not, the channel isn't a bit bigger after so long. But I'm also kind of disappointed in myself because there's a lot of stuff that I want to do. And like a lot of uh, big projects and stories that I want to tell. But I just haven't done them. Because I just haven't. So yeah. As I mentioned earlier, I just have a real big problem with just procrastinating and not, like, wanting to do things, but not wanting to do things. I don't know. I gotta work on it and get some stuff done, so 
you know, not only so my channel can do better, but also so you guys can see some cool, better videos, you know? You know, it sucks. Because, like, I actually had a video planned for this, you know, the five-year anniversary. It just, there wasn't enough time to do it. Uh, because the uh, I didn't, like, by the time I realized that the five-year anniversary was coming up, it was, I only had, like, a, like about basically 30 days to make the video. Which sounds, you know, like, oh, you can make a stop motion about 30, about 30 days. It was like, I didn't just have to make it. I also had to gain my skill back. You know, because uh, I haven't been animating much as of recent. And so I've kind of lost the touch. I haven't really... I'm not as good as I used to be. So I would have had to gain all that skill back to make it look good. And then animate it. And then edit it and, you know, do all, add all the sound effects and stuff to it within a month. And, uh, yeah, I just feel like it probably wouldn't have worked. But, I don't know. Because it would have been a bit more ambitious project, like using, like, green screens and stuff, which I don't have too much experience with. But, uh, yeah, it just didn't, just didn't wind up happening. But I do still plan on making it. Because uh, it's a video I wanted to make for a while, but I was just going to use the five-year anniversary as, like, motivation to get it done. But then I still just didn't get it done. So, yeah. And that's that's the story with, like, a lot of projects in my head. Like, there's a lot of stuff I want to do, but I just haven't done them. A lot of cool stuff that I want to do, but I just haven't And it's really frustrating sometimes. But, uh, yeah. Wow, this got, uh, kind of drab pretty soon, huh? <laughs> so I didn't mean to drag things down a bit. But, like I said, I was going to talk about the channel and how things are going. But, um,. But things are looking up in other ways, like doing the reviews are much easier nowadays, simply because I've made it easier for myself. Because uh, back back when I was like first doing things, I was really sporadic about stuff. Like a lot of things were not prepared ahead of time. Like like I would usually prepare like three days ahead of when I was supposed to upload a review. So I would, like, randomly just scour about my room and be like, what am I going to review? Find a random figure. Take it. Uh, find a random piece of music that related to it. And uh, then, like, try and find out. Like, the only real research I did was, like, just researching what the name of the figure was. And then that was it. Nowadays, I do a lot more than that. You know, do more research. I'll, like, look up, like, uh, what year did the set come out? I look up, like, you know, what the figure... Because usually most of the stuff I look at is, like, older figures. So I look up, like, what is it going for on eBay nowadays? Uh, I, like, structure my reviews better. Like, my, like, thoughts on figures would, like, go for, like, a really... They would, like... They would just be everywhere. You know, my thoughts on things would just be so sporadic. But now, I try to, like, formulate, like, I talk about, like, details. Oh, no, I talk about articulation. Then I do the details. And then I do, you know, size comparisons and the measuring. And then I save, like, my final, like, thoughts to, like, the very end of the review. Because, like, sometimes I would, like talk about my like how I feel about the figure throughout the whole review and so it can kind of feel like scattered but now I try to keep things more formulated uh get things prepared much uh, a lot uh, that that can't talk I try to get things prepared uh ahead of time like write notes down like I have like little note cards uh I have prepared so I can remember stuff you know write write down like things I want to talk about 
like specific things I wanted to mention about the figure or, you know, just a, maybe just a joke I wanted to tell and stuff like that. So yeah, as far as the reviews go, I've become a lot more professional with those and just a lot better at them. I feel at least. Yes, yeah, so that's, you know, those are, those are getting better. And I feel a lot more confident in making them. I feel like they're of better quality. I don't know. I like them. Well, I feel like I've rambled on for more than long enough. Um, but yeah, it's... Uh, I was my train of thought. But yeah, talked long enough. And once again, thank you all for sticking around for as long as you have. I really appreciate it. But until next time, see you later. Sayonara. Bye.